y'all doing? Oh, I don't even have my microphone on, but it's okay. You'll still hear me. How y'all doing? Happy holidays. I did not post on Saturday. I apologize. I was just so busy with cleaning and stuff. I didn't, I didn't get around to doing it. But to make up for that, we're going to post today on Sunday. So I was supposed to fill my thumb, fix my thumb, because I broke it putting on the socks that I have on in this outfit. And um, I'm saying today because it's usually it's midnight. I'm up late. Um, I was cleaning all day, all day. So you know what I mean? Christmas, the house was supposed to be nice and good. Bathroom thoroughly scrubbed. Um, it was just a day of cleaning. Thank goodness I had help. Otherwise, I'd be a lot more exhausted. So. I'm going to show you the designs that I actually ended up doing and even a design that I did not post because I'm like, ugh, you, girl, you messed that up. You messed it up. Right? So these, let me just grab everything. Grab my hands and my little fingers. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Grinch is a fail, straight up fail. So, the Grinch is not even the Grinch. It's like Grinch's cousin. We're going to call him Grunch. <laughs> because... <laughs> they don't look like no Grinch. Can you even tell that I was trying to do the Grinch? If you can, thank you so much. If not, it's okay. Alright, and then these were done using the Hep Nails um, liner gels. Honestly, those gels, let me turn on the light above the camera as well to give it a little more. I feel like that might make it just make you see the bowl a little bit brighter, a little bit more pizzazz. And then same thing with this one. I would definitely recommend that liner gel. That brand in general has some very nice gel polishes because even the the cat eye magnetic gels from them are really good i also have those and i am also going to be showcasing some designs from that when i tell you it is super easy to work with it is super easy to work with i even purchased extra magnets to do other designs now one downside i can definitely tell you about having these long claw nails on that i have is picking things up i was struggling to pick the gels up what happens when you have claws and it makes it kind of hard to pick things up these the gels are beautiful they're wonderful and i'm actually going to use these on my nails today to revamp the style no these again the hep nails liner gel 10 out of 10 i would recommend and then we did these i'm very proud of these these were simple and easy to do for me like look at that so cute and then we have these are the first attempts when I was trying to do those snowflakes All right that was the first set of attempts and the design was still good it was just kind of the shaping of the nail that was a little off and then here I had a little leaning Christmas tree Can you believe when I was doing the design, I was so mad. I should have been recording it so you could have seen my reaction, but I didn't want to have, you know, when you're recording and you just, when, you, when I'm recording, at least me, I tend to get up a lot and I get up, I go to the bathroom, I go to eat, and then a lot of times I don't remember, I don't remember to turn off the camera. So then there's all this empty spaces in the footage and that just takes up a lot of time. Then you have to cut all of that out. And then when I'm doing the record as you go, sometimes I forget to record steps. I'm doing stuff and I realize, oh yeah, you didn't hit record again and you missed stuff. This I never posted because it just looked awful and I didn't even really finish it. Right? This was chrome or is chrome powder, not applied properly. I tried to, what did I use? Did I use the marker or did I use gel polish to do that French? That French is not Frenching, that is just super wide. And then these flowers, straight up fail, straight up fail, straight up fail. And then the glitter that I was using to try and encapsulate, it just, it just was not a good idea. What I should have done is possibly done this a lot thinner 
and then applied the glitter and then capped it with the clear but the fact that i already had the thickness and then tried to put the glitter on top it was just a whole it was just a mess and then these are another design that i am very proud of very beautiful also use the hep nails liner gel look at how wonderful that is so beautiful look at that and then these i said that these were a fail because it doesn't really not not, not really it's it's not a copy and paste of the design like the colors and the look of it is nice but it's just not what the picture had because i tried to just use the gel polish and it didn't it didn't look nice with just the glitter gel so then i sprinkled glitter on put it under the lamp and then top coat and then it just it just looks chunky and fat and elevated when it really supposed to be a lot flatter looking or a lot or just flat and that's why when i posted it i said fail like it looks nice like you just looking at it like oh yeah that looks cute this would nice and whatever but because this is right where it comes in for me now and i'm like this is what causes me to not post this stuff because when I see it, I'm like, I don't like it. But then you see it and you're like, oh, but that's cute. It is cute, but because that's not what I was going for, I'm like, ew, no, no, no. But it still looks cute. Like, overall, it still looks cute. These I didn't do any designs on. This was my very first practice hand. And as you can see, it's jacked up. And it's my fault because I had tried to fix it with the the product that you put on on top and I didn't like how it looked so I took it off and I clipped it down and tried to do it again and then I thought okay let's try and clip up up here to do it a little bit neater and it just didn't work and then to try and put pro um, nails or glue nails onto it after I put that product on it just it just didn't look good it didn't look good at all so when I'm gluing tips on you can still technically still glue things down but I mostly have to use or at least I use the crazy glue um, or the gorilla glue to glue it down and then go from there but hey it's still a hand that will really work it just doesn't look appealing to post it online you know but yeah those are my practice hands those are the designs that i did and i will see you again when i <laughs> when i um fix my thumb we'll see what design we come up with I unfortunately do not have enough space to try and record a lot because there are so many clips that are on here right now that I did not get through to edit and because I forgot to post it because I had another memory card using and then when I'm on here and I was doing something I'm like oh my gosh this is where these videos were oh 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 all right um <laughs> and let's go do the nails I'll see you when I'm done all right bye for now hi hi okay so this is what i came up with i did not really have a specific design in mind i just wanted to see where i took it so i used the hep nails um gel polish that i initially received a little while back this is the these are the cat eye magnetic gel and I have to say they are very easy to work with and I really do enjoy working with them. All right, so this one is the gel and then I mixed it, the little snowflake that I tried to do. I used their metallic gel liner, right? And then as you can see, I have the prints on these two fingers and then I added on the extra snowflake design using the met metallic liner this finger here is this gel polish also from hep nails and then I added on the snowflakes with their metallic liner then with the thumb I used 
as you can see isn't it beautiful it's a combination the color i think the color this color here is so pretty and then the fact that i have the um the print on top the transfer foil that just makes it so beautiful so the colors i use today for everything i use today the gel polish is from hep nails if you don't have this, definitely grab it. It's on Amazon. It's very affordable. Definitely grab it. Right? And then the liner gel is this one right here. And then I use some foil that I had on hand. But these are so fun to create. I love just kind of sitting around and seeing where I go with my designs. Because you see, the previous design that I had, yes, I had a photo that I was working off of. This, I had multiple things that I was going off of. I just had my plain nails. I said, hmm, let's add some designs to it. It's Christmas theme. The other nails, you couldn't really tell too much if you weren't paying attention that it was Christmas theme. But look at these. You see the Santa boots. You see the reindeer. You see the snowflakes. You see the Jolly Ranchers, the candy canes on the thumb. The details this time around, the, those are very beautiful. I think I did a very good job. But hey, that's what I think. You let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. It's Miss Tarian. Bye.